When we're grilling this summer, what's better than a really great burger? Well, let me tell you, this burger takes it up a notch. We've got a bacon and cheddar stuffed certified Angus beef burger. It is out of this world. We're gonna season the beef with a little bit of onion, garlic, and some hot sauce. And here we go. Minced onion, minced garlic, touch of salt, and your favorite hot sauce. Add to taste. I like it a little spicy. From here, we'll work the patties and then make a small indentation in the center. Where we'll go ahead and we'll take some of our cheese. A little bit of bacon. And you can be as creative as you'd like with these ingredients that you're going to stuff the burger with. Blue cheese is fantastic. If you wanted to do a surf and turf, why couldn't you put spinach and some prosciutto in there? That would be fantastic. This burger really screams summertime to me. Cheddar and bacon. So you top them, pinch those sides down. Trapping the cheddar and the bacon in the center. I like to go around just a couple times. Make sure you have a good pliable burger. This is about eight ounces. It's a half a pound, half pound burger. You can go a little bigger, you can go a little smaller if you'd like. I find that this is a perfect size. You need to have enough uh, burger to filling ratio so that the, uh, when you do cut into the burger that you have ample filling. All right, let's take them to the grill. The great thing about this Sabre grill with our infrared technology, even cooking, no flare-ups. It kills so many burgers. No one wants to bite into that bitter, acrid, uh, burger that's been been torched by the carbon of a flare-up. Watch this. You can hear that sizzle. That's a great, great sound. Perfect. Cook the burger to the doneness that you like. I prefer medium rare to medium myself, and that's going to take about four to five minutes per side for this eight ounce burger. I'm going to close the lid and really trap that heat in there. Yes. And there it is, the bacon and cheddar stuffed burger on the Sabre grill. Fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe, and you can find this and many others at betterbarbecueblog.com.